So you want to schedule Pinterest pins directly from Canva into Tailwind? That's now possible with Tailwind's brand new Canva tool and I'm going to show you exactly how to use it. For years, I had to design in Canva, download the file, upload them to Tailwind, and then finally get to scheduling it. It worked, but it was messy and it was way too time consuming. If you've been stuck in the same loop, you are going to absolutely love this tutorial. I'm gonna walk you through every step inside of Canva and show you how to connect Canva to your Tailwind account and share the exact SEO tricks that make your pins stand out. But here's what you might not expect. This new workflow changes more than just your Pinterest strategy. It completely shifts how you think about content creation itself. I'll explain why as we go. Let me ask you one question. How much time do you spend just moving your files around? Downloading, uploading, resizing, adjusting. If you're anything like me, those extra steps really add up fast. That's why this update matters so much. Pinterest is one of the strongest traffic drivers for creators and business owners, but Posting sometimes feels like a chore. And if it feels like a chore, people don't stay consistent. And if we don't stay consistent, we don't get results. So what does this integration actually do to change? And is it really better than what we already have? Tailwind has always been the official Pinterest scheduler. It gives you tools like the smart schedule to post when your audience is most active. It gives you board lists to manage multiple boards at once, and even analytics to track what's working and what's not. Meanwhile, Canva is where we usually design things. We'll design our pins, our graphics, all of our branding content until now. These two tools didn't talk to each other. We were stuck in one endless loop of downloads, uploads, and starting the whole process over again. So the big question is, what happens when you connect them? Can you really handle everything all in one place? The answer is yes. And the process is surprisingly simple. Let's get inside Canva and see all of this in action. We're gonna open our design. We're gonna make a pin just like you always have. So go through, make your pin, and then we're gonna find the Tailwind app. And if you don't see it, hit more and search for Tailwind. Log into your Tailwind account, and this is gonna link Canva directly to your Tailwind dashboard. Add all your pin details, choose the board, write your titles, descriptions, and paste in your link. Then you will click share to Tailwind. You will choose your file type, which pages you want, and then you'll click export. After clicking export, you'll get a pop-up down here in green and click on open in Tailwind, and it'll take it right to your drafts. Use Smart Schedule to let Tailwind suggest the best posting time if that's how you usually post, and then hit schedule, and that's it. But here's the twist. If it's that easy, how do you make sure your pins don't just get posted, but actually get discovered? That's where Pinterest SEO comes in. Think about it. What is the point of posting a pin if nobody sees it? Pinterest is a search engine, so you need to create your pin like searchable content. So how do we do that? Make sure you start with keyword rich titles. Instead of my blog posts, do how to bake sourdough bread for beginners. Write detailed descriptions with your keywords worked in naturally. Pinterest wants context for your pins before it can serve your pins. So you wanna make sure you're giving Pinterest as much context as possible. This will improve your accessibility and alter your search rankings. Here's the next problem people run into though. Even if your pins are optimized, how do you actually keep up with posting enough of them to gain traction that's meaningful? That's where this workflow strategy is gonna come in. Creating a smarter workflow with Canva and Tailwind is all about consistency. Consistency is what drives Pinterest growth. This is where batching our content comes in. Instead of creating just one pin and scheduling it and repeating that cycle, design all your pins for that week, then schedule them in their settings. So it's faster, smarter, more flexible, but what does this actually mean in real results? I know for my workflow, this saves me so much time. This just came out and I've been using it for like a week and it makes such a big difference. It saves just that minuscule time from downloading, uploading, and it also saves file space on my computer so that I'm not having to just rack up more hard drives. This Tailwind integration might look like just a small update, but it's gonna change the entire way people create. It keeps our design and scheduling process totally connected and is gonna save us so much time 
and make the Pinterest workflow so much smoother and faster. If you found this video helpful, give it a like, hit subscribe for more Canva tutorials every single week. Make sure you hit the bell icon so you never miss any of my videos. I'll see you guys later.